A quick little video just to have a social comment. There's a movement of foot here in New South Wales and I'm probably in the rest of Australia as well but since I live here in Sydney, yes and that's the bridge, about helmet cams. Now I'll put a link in the description or some technical and legal jargon down there because the association I ride with have done a little bit of research into this but the New South Wales Traffic Department, police call it what you will, are clamping down on motorcyclists with attachments to their helmet. Now they're saying that this is in breach of the Act that states the certification of helmets, that you cannot modify them any shape, manner or form. Now they're saying that attaching even Bluetooth devices such as Scala and Senna's and all that sort of thing are actually illegal. You're not allowed to change your helmet in any shape, manner or form is what they're saying. Now the simple thing is that all of these devices actually stick on. They're not actually drilled and bolted so there's no um, impeachment into the quality, standard, safety, structural integrity or anything like that to the helmet. Now they're only stuck on by double sided tape or velcro so in the advent of an accident the damn things are going to tear off anyway so there's not going to be any impact to the helmet. Now in recent weeks they have been doing random checks and stopping motorcyclists with helmet cams and fining them, I think it's $300 or something, and, and there's even demerit points involved in it. Now, this is absolutely ridiculous. Now, everywhere else in the world, you can, apart from I think Austria where it's illegal, only because of uh, infringements of civil liberties and the, um, what is it, personal um, information stuff and stuff like that be being filmed. Mm -hmm. Now here in Australia majority of the motorcyclists that are riding around with helmet cams on do it for two reasons. One is to actually use the footage in court when we get carved up and killed by bus drivers, taxi drivers and the like and truckies and what have you. And the other usage for it is purely and simply when we're out doing motorcycling tours and whatnot, we use it to take footage of the countryside and put up blogs and such like, like this. Now, I was sitting in uh, a car park on the bike several months ago and sharing the parking spot with a police motorcycle and the motorcyclist and the policeman came back and uh, he was doing a bit of shopping, must have been his off time, I'll give him that. And he had a, I think a scaler rider on his uh, helmet. And he said to me, have you got one of these? And I said, no, 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 no. He, says, he says, they're brilliant. He says, you know, you can get, take phone calls, you can do this, you can do that. And it's all brilliant, it's, it's out of the way, it's hands free, you know, it's perfectly legal. And uh, he also had um, either a drift or a Garmin type camera bolted to his helmet as well and he said and these are good as well now you know I accept the fact that when you know police policemen are allowed to use mobile phones in cars and such like well can they but they do and they seem to be able to do anything they like without having to worry about the infringements and the standard motorcyclist on the street is constantly harassed by overzealous policemen wanting to earn revenue and gain their buddy to merit points list up so that they meet their quotas on the most ridiculous things. Now I'm not having a go at Harley Davidson riders but you know, some of those exhaust pipes on those Harleys are way over the decibel limit. 
I got passed by one the other day that my ears were ringing and I've got earplugs in and they were ringing for more than 10 minutes afterwards. But no, no, that's not a worry. We'll have a go at hel helmet cams. And the other one of the things I've won quickly while I'm talking about this is, is we're allowed to filter in New South Wales. Uh, up between lanes at traffic lights and what have you. And um, the, I was booked six days before the law became enforced, or you know, came through that you're allowed to. I was filtering up the side of a tra row of traffic that was blocked um, on a motorbike, and the guy came, the police sergeant came racing across the road by foot, on foot, pulled me over and booked me on a long weekend with, with double demerit points for overtaking on the left. Now, that cost me 250 bucks and I think probably three points. And, you know, what was the point? I always believe that, and I will support traffic officers and such like, they are out there for road safety, not road revenue. And this guy would have to be one of the most obnoxious sons of bitches you'd ever come across. And I've subsequently heard that this guy is well known up in the Singleton area for being overzealous on motorcyclists. To the point where he pulls them up and decibel reads their bikes, even if they've got standard exhausts on them. Now, there's been shootings and bloody rapes and finding buried babies and dumped babies in drains in, in New South Wales, in Sydney, over the last couple of months. Surely, surely there is a greater need to look into stuff like that than to pull up a motorcyclist with a helmet cam. Is it because they don't want us to film them pulling us up for nothing? Leave a comment. What do you think? Thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. Bye for now.